Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video. And today let's go over the initial setup for Samsung Bixby Voice. And we'll go through a little bit of the settings that we can see initially as well. So what I did was I made sure that my phone has been updated with all the most recent updates. I moved over into the Bixby home and boom, a pop-up happened that says, hey, download this new update. And it was actually for Bixby Voice. So what I'm gonna do is I will click on this little B button on the very top left-hand side, which is the Bixby icon. And here here is the setup process. Here are the two different ways you can find me. One way to talk to me is to hold down the Bixby key on the left and speak. After you're done talking, you can release the Bixby key. Let's try it now. Hey Bixby, open gallery and show me my pictures. No problem. Let's move on to the next one. The other way to wake me up is by using your voice, even if the screen is off. Let's register your voice now. Just tap the logo. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby, open messages. Hi Bixby, turn on Bluetooth. I am here when you need me. Just call me. Since I am still learning, I need your help to understand your voice better. Can you tap the Bixby logo and read each of five sentences aloud? Health is always important. Bixby would like to visit the Bixby Bridge in California. Choose a music genre for me. You can save web pages as bookmarks in your browser. A good zoom lens can make a world of difference. Well done. When you talk to me, don't forget to include a specific app or generic service name for what you want me to do. For example, Google Play Music or Google Maps, or a general category like Music or Maps. Like this. It's easy. Just remember to use the app name or service and tell me what to do. I can work with all these apps, so let's make sure they're all updated. I'm always experimenting with more apps at Bixby Labs. I may not be perfect just yet, but I learn faster as you use different apps with me. Try them out now. I am good at lots of things. Take a look. There are nearly 3,000 different things I can help you with. To find out what I'm best at, check out my Bixby in Bixby Home. Wow, so if you check this out, you can actually scroll through a lot of these different actions that it's able to do. Man, this is actually quite a bit. Um, now, I do highly suggest going through this whole initial you know, setup process just like I am instead of hitting on skip, just so you can see exactly what you could do with Bixby. As we interact more, you can gain more experience points. Move up to higher levels by gaining experience points. You can also check my newer looks and participate in special promotions. We're ready to go. And it looks as if you get a free offer uh, from the Google Play Music for Bixby users. So you get 14 days on us or you get your first three months on us, um, which basically says that you'll have to put in all your information and you can cancel it at any time. So that's actually pretty cool. Now we've gone through the initial setup. Let's go to the very top inside of some of these settings that you'd be able to do with your voice since we are talking about Bixby voice. So inside of the normal Bixby settings, this is where you see the option right here for it. it says Bixby voice. So you'd be able to turn that one on so it would be able to get any type of response back and you're able to actually talk to Bixby. So when you scroll down just a little bit, you can see this is where you'd be able to do the enhanced voice recognition. So if you skipped the initial setup and you did not do any of the pronunciations, this is where you'd be able to record it or you can even go over it all over again. Right here is where you'd be able to unlock with your voice password. So let's go inside of here and let's be able to unlock our phone using Bixby voice. Now it does say on the very bottom here that says the voice password is less secure than some other screen unlock methods. Your phone could be unlocked by someone with a voice that sounds similar to yours. So first off, let's go over and let's choose one of our screen lock types. So just for the demonstration of this video, let's go over inside of pin and I'm going to do the password you should never do, which is one, two, three, four. So this is where you would think of a word or phrase that's two to four syllables and hard for others to guess. So, you know, maybe if someone picks up this phone, they don't know exactly who it belonged to. Um, or maybe there's some people out there that don't even know that I do YouTube in the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say Jimmy is promo. Jimmy is promo rocks. 
Jimmy is promo. Rocks. I'll call you when the alarm rings. I've set a reminder to send a message to mom. Hey, Bixby. Unlock my phone. Tell me your voice password to continue. Jimmy is promo. Rocks. So now let's learn just a little bit more of what Bixby Voice is able to do with all the different voice application and services. So what you want to do is click on the settings on the very top right side and click voice apps and services. Right over here is where you'll be able to see all of these Samsung applications that's all listed out. And then below that will be some of the other things you would also be able to do. And again, Bixby Labs here is one of those that added more applications for it to be used with, but you know, they might not be 100% perfect. So you can use things with Instagram. So you'd be able to open Instagram and you can post, you know, the most recent image that you took. So you can do a whole bunch of things just by your voice. So let's go to the very top and let's look at just a couple of the different ones for gallery. So this is where you can find pictures taken in New York. So if you're to take an image inside of a location, or city be able to add a note that it is in New Society, New York. So later on, you'd be able to open that up. You can also say, show me the most recent picture, share this picture, show pictures or open the photo application. Uh, you can also say right here where it says, share the three most recent pictures. So let's go back and let's go underneath settings just because this one looks a little cool. So right here, it says, show me the Wi-Fi settings. You can also say, turn on Wi-Fi settings, turn off Wi-Fi settings, show me advanced Wi-Fi settings and so on and so forth. And there are so many different options you can do. You can even say turn on or you can turn off the Bluetooth settings. Now stay tuned for my upcoming videos. I will be going over much more different commands you'd be able to do and 100% show this thing off. Now, first off, I wanna try one of these here and say, hi Bixby, turn on Bluetooth settings. Cool, just got five points for that one. Hey Bixby, turn off my Bluetooth settings. Done, Bluetooth is off. Hi Bixby, turn my brightness down to 50%. Done, the brightness is at 50 now. Hi, Bixby. Turn on my flashlight. So there we go, guys. That was the initial setup and first steps of using Samsung Bixby Voice. Now, if you guys have the brand new Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus, make sure you guys go out there, make sure your phones are updated, as well as heading over into Bixby and checking to see if there is a update. Now, be sure if you guys like this video, put a huge thumbs up right below this video here, as well as if this is something that you love, make sure you share this thing and share it on your guys' social media sites. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Hey, if you guys found this video to be helpful, make sure you guys do a good turn daily and pay it forward. And also hit on the subscribe button on the very bottom left hand side. And then on the very bottom right hand side, you guys will be able to check out the very next video. And right above that is the playlist for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. See you guys later.